Man, has it ever been a busy day today. Look at my hair. If you look at the first video I put up today and then you look at the state that I'm in now, you can tell I have been cleaning a tub. I have been opening warmers all day. I've been running around this house like crazy. All right, so let's sniff some oils, some new oils. If you do not use warmers, you have maybe been waiting for this moment right here, right now. So we are gonna go with awesome apple. Awesome apple, a golden honey crisp apple sprinkled with sugar cane and fresh ground cinnamon. Coming in at the $16 price point, we are gonna take a sniffy sniff. Be careful when you sniff these because they are as pure as pure gets. Ooh. Oh yeah, I like this. I can smell the sugar cane and the cinnamon yeah, it's really nice. It's not, I wouldn't say that it's one of those fall. Oh yeah, it kind of is. You could almost get the smell. Now I'm going to have to diffuse that. So you can almost get the smell of um, kind of like an apple cider scent going on. I'm really going to have to diffuse this one for sure. I do like it. Um, there's some oils that I've had a sniff test on and I'm just like, I'm not sure that I could have that in my house. But this one I do like it. I don't think that it would be overpowering, but that's the joys when you're using a diffuser and oils is you get to control how strong or not strong you'd like the scent to be, which is one of the difference with waxes. The strength of the wax is what you get, right? So this one here, oh, I can already smell it and it smells fantastic. It is the cinnamon, cherry, vanilla, and hello, I like it. Cherry and cinnamon sweeten up rich butter notes and yes the buttery oh my goodness it's almost got butterscotch to it oh yeah mm -hmm. yeah it's it's got a very butterscotchy kind of yes very much buttery notes that is the cinnamon cherry vanilla and yes I do like that very much and I have a feeling that many of you will as well the next one we're going to move on to is the Lotso Lemon. Lotso Lemon is lemon and lime mingle with bergamot for an invigorating blend. This one comes in at the $13 mark. Again, we're talking Canadian prices here. And yes, it's perfect. It is the, it's a candy. It's a lemon candy. Go ahead on here if you can and name some of the lemon candies that we have. Think of something like it's got a bit of sugar in it. It's not a cleaning lemon. It's definitely a lemon candy. I've had this before. It's not like a lemonade lemon and it's not like a cleaning lemon. Oh, I've put this in my mouth. <laughs> You're trying to figure out which candy it is. It smells really good. I'm loving the fact that you can smell the lime in it for sure. It's a nice mix. It's really clean. It's definitely the one that I would put on on a cleaning day for sure. And I think it would probably give you that motivation as well. You know, some of the different oils that you use can really lift up your spirits and really kind of get that movement going. It's a very clean smell. It is definitely one that I would use when I'm cleaning the house. And I do often find that I turn on my diffuser before I turn my warmers on when I'm cleaning my house. It does something to me. It keeps me motivated. It's true. Next one we're doing is the lavender lime. That's a really interesting com com combination. Lavender lime, loads of lavender with a twist of lime and a hint of fir needle and sandalwood. Now, if you are a sandalwood lover, hopefully that's got a good punch in here. Let's see what we got. Yes, I can smell the sandalwood. The most dominant smell I'm getting I was gonna say the lime, but it kind of came afterwards with the lavender. Mmm, it's clean. Yeah, I like it. Uh, nope, there's the lavender. The lavender is really dominating, I would say. My first smell of it was really the lime, but I'm really finding that the more that I go back to it, the lavender really comes out. If you're not a fan of lavender, this will not be a friend of yours. Some of them, some, oh yeah, I can really smell the lavender in it. Lav I like lavender, but I like lavender straight from our vacation. <laughs> That's how I like my lavender. Uh, anyway, so uh, that one's good. It's great for cleaning. 
I like it, but it's not my preference. However, if you do like lavender, you probably would. That cinnamon cherry vanilla is fantastic. Yes, definitely buttery. And lots of lemon is definitely going to go on my list for uh, cleaning. One more time on the apple. Yeah. I like that too. So out of the four that we've got, I'm not a super big fan of the lavender lime, um, but price point wise, we're coming in with the awesome apple at 16. We have the lots of lemon, perfect for cleaning the house at 13. We've got the cinnamon cherry vanilla coming in at 13 as well. Um, there's some chamomile in that. Nope, sorry, I'm wrong. The cinnamon cherry vanilla is the buttery notes one, 13. And the lavender lime is coming in at 13 as well. So there is your coverage on some of the new oils that we have available. And we've got some Disney bars to smell. We've got a few more warmers left. We've got the kids coming home soon. We've got some... I can't open these obviously, but the scent in the bar will be the same as the scent circles. And one thing I found interesting about the scent circles, totally going off topic, is the size of them compared to the size of our regular scent circles. And I can grab one of those and share that with you uh, shortly. So I hope you enjoyed our little sniff test there. We have some more sniff tests that we can do in a little bit, uh, but we also have some more warmers to cover. I hope you're having fun enjoying us. Grab some popcorn, grab a drink, go have a pee break, and join us back here in a few minutes for another warmer.